we'll be we'll be ready in three, two, one. Hi, Chris. How's it going? Hi, Michelle. It's going great. How are you? Very well, thank you. So first, what is the Butterball Hotline? The Butterball Turkey Talk Line has been around to help consumers cook their Thanksgiving and holiday turkeys for 36 years now, since 1981. And we're here to help assist, answer questions, talk you off the ledge, right? It can be a high-stress holiday. You know, everyone's waiting for the turkey to come to the table and a lot of pressure on the cook. So we're there to support you in any way you need. And this year, on top of the talk line with all these um, representatives answering the phone, answering emails and chat, we're adding on texting, and it is really exciting. Um, people getting good responses right away, so it's, uh, it's our new thing this year. Why did you decide to add the texting? Well, you know, everyone texts now. Um, I, it's how I get a hold of my mother, right? It's, it's the way <laughs> of communication now. It's the way we get um, answers and get um, in touch with people right away. So by texting 844-877-3456, you can get your answers. And uh, we're doing that this whole week, starting the day all the way through Thanksgiving Day, 24-7. How many people run the phone lines or texts during the week? So we have a full house, as you can see behind me. We have this beautiful room full of people. Um, we keep it well staffed to manage um, uh, all the things that we anticipate will be coming through. Um, and like I said, 24-7 um, for texting and then uh, the phones during the days, mostly all day long, when people would be cooking. And it goes actually through Thanksgiving Day as well. Actually, um, the talk line is open all the way till Christmas Eve. So, you know, a lot of people like to cook um, turkey not only at Thanksgiving, but also um, for the holidays. So we're here um, for two months. So please reach out and touch us. Is it just 24-7 from now to Thanksgiving? 24-7 on the texting, right, is um, starting today, 11-17 through 11-24. So it's this week, the um, crunch week, so when everyone's really got turkey on their mind is when the texting will be 24-7. But the talk line and being able to reach us on the phone and um, via email, live chat, all of that will continue all the way up through Christmas. Now, what training is required to become a Thanksgiving expert? Oh, well, we, we call it Butterball University, but uh, everyone who comes to um, the talk line, whether they're um, texting or whether they're on the phones or on email, we all get the same training, and it's thorough, comprehensive training and all the possible ways that you can cook a turkey, from roasting in a pan to using the Reynolds um, oven bag. Um, there are many, many ways to cook a turkey, and we learn them all so that we can answer any question you might need. What are some of the most common questions that come in? Most common questions tend to be about thawing, doneness, when is my turkey ready to be, um, come out of the oven? But the one that I get that uh, people seem a little confused on is basting. Um, do I baste, don't I baste? We recommend no need. Butterballs are self-basting. So a turkey's gonna take approximately three hours to cook. At hour two, open the oven door, take a quick look at the turkey, see where we're at. Breast should be getting golden brown and beautiful. At that point, you're gonna grab Reynolds foil, make a little eight frame tent, put it on the breast portion of the turkey. That allows the thighs, which cook to a higher temperature, to get to 180 while keeping the white meat moist. Now, what's the difference between a fresh and a frozen turkey? Fresh and frozen, they're the same quality turkeys. The advantage to a frozen turkey is you can pick it up now. You have a wide selection. Right, you're not fighting over that last remaining turkey at the store. But the advantage to the fresh one is that it eliminates the defrosting or thawing step, which is one of our most commonly asked questions. We have these great videos on our website. Um, go to butterball.com and you can watch the little how-to videos. Thawing is one of them, how to thaw your turkey, featuring yours truly. It was a lot of fun to tape, so get your answers at the website as well. Now, what are some regional questions that you're commonly asked? Well, and we have um, done studies, and it's amazing how across the country there are many different um, approaches to the Thanksgiving meal. And one of the big ones is stuffing, right? Stuffing versus dressing. So inside the turkey versus on the side. Um, and those are definitely um, very regional. Now, do you only ask answer questions about turkey? What about ham and duck? <laughs> uh, you, can, we, you can call us with any question. And over the years, I've had the gamut, right? And 
the last uh, week I got a call about I'm invited to my sister-in-law's for Thanksgiving and I've been asked to bring the sweet potatoes. Right? We have um, a room full of experts, not only in Turkey, but these are people who come from food backgrounds, um, nutritionists and um, chefs and all sorts of food-related industries. We can answer to the best of our ability other cooking questions too, but turkey is our main line. Um, call us with your turkey questions. Text us, right? 1 800 844. I'm sorry about the 844 877 3456. Now, what do people get wrong most often in Thanksgiving food preparation? Uh, I think the biggest um, question, right, is how do I use my thermometer? Um, it's not always obvious how to check the doneness on the turkey. We do highly recommend the use of a thermometer. We're checking in three places. If I am stuffing my turkey, right, I want to check the temperature in the center of the stuffing as well as the temperature of the white meat and the temperature of the thigh. You're looking for the thickest part of the muscle, not touching any bone. Make sure your thermometer is not touching the bone. Good tip. Uh, what are some of the strangest questions that you've been asked? Oh, we get great questions. You know, one of our big, big um, questions that we get a large number of calls on is thawing. And uh, over the course of the years, you get um, thawing questions that really cover the spectrum, some really unique, creative ways to thaw turkey. One call that I got and I remember very distinctly, someone calling from Florida and said, you know what, your cold water thaw method didn't work so well. I thought, oh gosh, I'm sorry, you know, what, what went wrong? And he said, well, I put it in the pool, because then when I went back for it, it was missing. I think the dog got it or something. So, oh you know, gosh. keep it in the sink or in a cooler. But uh, yeah, cold water thawing does work as long as you're not using the bathtub or the washing machine. <laughs> Do you also have offer advice for leftovers? Um, leftovers, um, head to the website. Our website has a searchable database of recipes because you will wind up with leftovers. Why not, right? You're cooking this beautiful turkey. You should have a little extra to go for the days after, right? And you're exhausted. You need to make it easy. So the website has some great um, leftover recipes, but we do encourage you that if you're going to be using leftovers, use them up within three days. Don't leave them hanging around in your refrigerator. Um, use or freeze them within three days. Now, here's a big one, to brine or not to brine? Um, the question regarding brining has sort of been um, solved for you by butterball. Butterballs are pre-basted, which is a brine, right? Um, water, salt, and spices, and it has been um, placed into the breast, and it is then self-basting. So yes, brining's a great idea. It's such a good idea. We did it for you, took all the mess out of it for you, and you don't have to worry about it. Is there anything else you'd like us to know? Absolutely. Remember this year, we are on demand. Whatever your question, wherever you are, however you need to reach us, you can get us. Call us, 1-800-BUTTERBALL, butterball.com, the website, or now with texting 844-877-3456.